So, hello everybody. Uh, let's have a look at uh, reported speech. Uh, as you remember, we had reported speech in 8B, where we talked about how we change tenses based on reported speech. Can you explain, maybe uh, Ladislav, can you explain when I need to use reported speech? What is reported speech about? Could you explain? Uh, it's about saying what someone have said. Yeah, excellent, excellent. So I need it a lot, actually, as I speak, because you will often say that somebody said something and there's the problem that I need to change tenses. Now, we are going to check new situations where I need to use reported speech and how I change different tenses. So let's have a look uh, at this text. It's called Bung Bungling Burglar. So my uh, task for you right now is to read the text and uh, answer these two questions. Now, to answer these questions, you don't have to read the whole text. Just scan through it and find the answers to questions. Uh, where did the burglar get stuck? Where did he get stuck? And how did he finally get free? Okay? Jako teda vysvobodili. So, you have 20 seconds. Look at this text. You will find it on page uh, 88. Look at the text and... Uh, find the answers. I will ask you soon. I'll be right back. So, who is ready to tell me? Anybody in the classroom who wants to try? So, where did he get stuck? He got stuck in a window. Excellent. So it's right here, right? I tried to climb in the window last night, but it's too narrow. And then uh, the man, blah, 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 uh, he told her that he had been there for, uh, for four hours, right? He couldn't move. Excellent. And then, uh, yeah, you can also find it here. She was shocked to discover a man uh, half in, in and half out of the window. Good job. Let's see. How did he finally get free? Anybody can tell me? Firefighter. Yes. Okay. Exactly, the last sentence, right? So you can actually, you know that this will be at the end of the story. So that's why you don't need to read all of it. Firefighters had to remove the window to rescue the man. Excellent. So now, when you see uh, the underlined sentences, we have one, two, three, four, and five. They all have some reported speech in them. And in exercise two, you will find the direct speech, all right? Psimazic. So A, B, C, D, uh, E. You will find the direct speech here and connect it to the sentences one, two, three, four, five in the text that are the indirect speech of this, of this uh, direct speech. <laughs> okay? So look at the text, one, two, three, the underlined sentences and put them to A, B, C, D, E to make sense. And then we will see grammar in this. We will see important grammar rules. So again, guys, I, I can give you maybe 30 seconds. It should be now. Okay, so let's try the first one. You can stay where you are. Uh, Lukáš, can you try? Lukáš, are you there? Yeah. Okay, so if I say you can stay where you are, that means can will change in, in, direct, in indirect speech. Can you find it in the text, how it changed? Uh. It's somewhere here in the text. Okay, look at number four then. I will help you, Lukash. Look at number four and read the sentence number four. Uh, she said to the man, man that he couldn't stay where... Could, that, he, that he could, that he could stay, that he where, could he stay where he was and... 
Th that's okay. Thank you. So look, we have two, we have two verbs here. One is modal verb, that is can. And then we have are. So are is present simple and it changes to past simple. So are here will become where he was. Okay. Uh, so she said, you can stay where you are, but here we say he could stay where he was. So uh, are here changes to was because it is he was. And then we have can stay and it changes, Lukáš, can changes to what? Could. Could, yes. And if I have can't, then uh, what would I change it to? Couldn't. Couldn't, yeah, or could not. Okay. Could not, it also is fine. Great, good job. Let's see the next one. Matye, uh, let me ask you for number or B. I won't help you because you tried to burgle my house. Can you try? It's sentence number three. Miss Holmes told the man that she wouldn't help him because he tried to burgle her house. Uh, he had tried. Yeah, remember, yeah. he had tried. Yeah, uh, okay. It is important because if you remember... Uh, if I have a sentence just with past simple and I say, uh, she told a man, she, uh, she told a man, he tries to burgle her house. It would be incorrect because do you remember what I told you about past tenses? If I only have past tenses in the sentence, anybody remembers? I said it, I think maybe two weeks ago. So there is a difference between past tenses uh, in one sentence and past perfect, all right? Now, let me show you here. If I have only past tenses, then one, two, three, four. One, two, now horrible handwriting here, three and four. So that would be, for example, I uh, went home, I had dinner, uh, I took a shower and went to bed. So that means I'm describing the past and everything is happening one by one. It is chronological. But now as you see here, it is not chronological. That means she told the man, that was the first thing, but even, even before, he had tried to burgle her house. So it does not, in the sentence, it does not follow one by one, okay? It is not chronological because he had tried to burgle it before. It would look like this, one, she told him, she told him, and then he had tried to burgle her house, okay? So th this is the, the major difference here, why I need to uh, be careful because uh, if you just use past tenses, past simple and past simple, it would make uh, a huge difference in uh, especially native speakers here. Okay, let's try uh, C, I can't move. So how do I change this one? Let me ask, maybe Martin, can you see? Can you see the sentence here? How do I change that? Um, so I can't move. So can't, we already know. It changes to couldn't, right? You can find it here somewhere. Mm, Martin? One, two, we have used three and four. So it is one, two, or five. Which sentence on the right? Uh, yes, uh, two. Two, yes. He said he, he couldn't, said he move. couldn't move. Great, good job. Thank you, Martin. Uh, now, M Matthew, can you try the next one? I have been here for four hours. Uh, that's sentence number one. The man uh -huh. told Miss Holmes that he had been there for four hours. Excellent. So we have past perfect. So present perfect. Uh, it is the same as with past simple. And now the last one, I will call the police. Vít, can you try? Now, which number is it? Uh, five. Yes, so that means will changes to what? Uh, would. Would, yeah. 
Okay, or would not uh, if it's in negative. Wouldn't or would not. Okay, so this is the theory for you uh, for your written task. Okay, uh, I'm sure that this will help you a lot. Uh, you can always come back to this video as well. But there are still a few things that actually uh, are not really in the book. All right, but I, I need to tell you about. Uh, there's also another thing, fortunately, that they still have in the book, and that is tell and say. Can you tell me the difference between tell and say? Anybody can try to explain? When do I use tell and say? Anybody knows? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, then go ahead. Go, go. Go, 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 go. I don't have to say it. Uh, no. Then, David, okay. you can try it. You can try it. It's okay. Okay. I left so it somewhere when here. you tell somebody it's uh, a thing that has happened already, so yeah. it could be a story or uh, an event in the past, mm -hmm. compared to saying, yeah, is okay. more of a person to person when you remembered a funny joke then you say it to the person next to you uh-huh okay so I can we know. say that the meaning is very similar it's uh i don't know honestly if it's similar it's, or not. it's almost the same but the, there's a problem with the sentence structure how do you put it in the sentence because one needs to have object uh, submit, submit, okay? So let me show you here. Say something, we say something, and then you don't have to say to whom, but you can. And But we say something to somebody that is important, all right? And then we have tell, and we tell somebody something. Me, řekneme někomu něco. In English, it must follow this structure every time. So that means tell must have somebody here. There must be somebody first, okay? There are a few exceptions. Exist to a part of Anybody knows an exception? When I use tell, but I have no object. Když použiju tell, ale nemám žádný předmět. Anybody knows? There are maybe three or four I can think of. We tell lies, for example. Tell a lie, okay? And, and there's no object. Of course, you can say, I told him lies. Uh, that's fine, but you don't have to use an object here. Uh, we tell a joke. Anything else you can think of? I don't say the truth. I tell the truth. Okay. And there might be more, uh, but these are the most common exceptions. Yeah. So this is something to uh, remember. Simply after tell, you have to use uh, she told me. I told him, all right? But you cannot say, I said him or I said her. That's not okay. You can say, I said something to her, uh, but it must stand after after this, after something, okay? So uh, you can also practice this uh, in your uh, in your written task. I'm not, I'm not going to do it now. I, I believe that it's not too difficult. But you can also find this uh, box in your uh, in your textbook that will help you a lot. Okay, and it's the same thing here. Now, there is one last thing that we didn't have in the book, and that my question is right here. Actually, how to report questions? Now, I have two questions here. One is yes no question, and the other one is more open. Okay. Let's see if you know how to uh, actually report somebody's question because. Uh, yeah, it's quite, it still uses the same logic, but the structure is a little bit different. So let's see if you know how to do it. Anybody can try. What time did you eat lunch yesterday? So how would I report it? I cannot say she said, no, or she told me. Uh, he asked. Mm -hmm. He asked at what time I ate lunch the day before. Uh, yeah, we don't have to say at what time. You can, but it's okay. What time I ate? Uh, what time did you eat? Each? Well, so look, we have asked is already in the past. And here this is in the past. So past will become past perfect. She asked me what time I had eaten yesterday. 
Can I use yesterday? No, the day before. Exactly. Good. Because you remember, we had this, right? Yesterday changes to day before. Because yesterday is not the same today as it was uh, the time uh, I was speaking and for the person. So I use ask, right, as a verb. It must be in the past. And therefore, I must look at the tense inside the question of the direct speech. And then I put it one tense behind. It is the same logic. It is the same logic as here. So I had uh, past simple, I used past perfect. Because again, I asked her, it's already in the past. Okay, it's in the past. And even before I asked her, she had eaten that lunch the day before. Now, and uh, have you eaten? Let's try uh, this question. Maybe, maybe, maybe you can try. Matej, Matej Esh, can you try? Oh, I'm, I'm there, sorry, man. Come again, sorry? Sorry, I, I didn't hear. So uh, can you report the question so... here? Have you eaten? How do you report this question? So he or she, he asked me. And now how do we continue? Uh... Zeptal se mne, jestli. That's the that's the conjunction we need. Yesli, Samuel. He asked me, Yesli, how to say that? Anybody knows in the classroom? There are two possibilities here. And anybody knows? If, yes, this is one, or whether. Whether. Both are okay. You can use both. Yeah. So I, I'm basically saying, Yesli. And now it is very simple. I just continue, but remember, I have to put the tense again, one behind. Okay, whether, if, then this is yesterday, and then I have eaten is present perfect. All right, so I change to past perfect again. So how would you continue that, Matej? Can you try? He asked me whether I. Přepřítomný čas na předminulý. Present perfect to present to past perfect. No, no idea. So, uh, who can tell me in the classroom? Anybody knows? Had eaten. Yeah, whether I had eaten. Oh, it's not a question now. Okay, wonderful. So, uh, thank you. Now, let's have a look at a little quiz. I have a quiz here for you. Wait, let me find it. It's right here. I'm going to send you this uh, this link so that you can follow with me. And we can try it in real life. Okay? Let's have a look at uh, the sentences here. So, there are 10 questions in this quiz. Choose the correct answer. Report this sentence correctly. I can swim really fast. So, let's try the first one. Uh, we can try... Matias, where are you? I saw you somewhere. Yeah, Matias, here. Can you try the first one? Uh, yeah. He said that he could swim really fast. Excellent. First one. Can you tell me why we cannot use this, this one? He told that he could swim really fast. It's very similar, no? Why can I not say that he told? Um, I'm, I'm not sure why not. Uh, no problem. Let's try anybody else. Uh, who can explain why told would be incorrect in this classroom? Anybody else? There's no me. Uh, there's no uh, sub, uh, There's no object after it. Exa yeah, exactly. So that's what we said here. Tell somebody something. And I, and I don't have anybody here. He just he told that, right? That, that would be uh, incorrect. Excellent. Let's try another one. So, uh, read the sentence. There was an accident outside the supermarket. So, Martin, can you try this one? Was an accident. Past simple. And past simple changes to past perfect. Um, so the... There, had... 
Uh, he said there has been an accident outside the supermarket. Uh, has been is hmm. present perfect. Se se přítomný čas present perfect. Jo. And present perfect doesn't exist in reported speech. Hmm. It doesn't exist there, so I, I cannot use has been. Mm, so it's he said there had been an accident. Had been, yeah. That's it. Maybe we have explanation. By the way, yeah, you can always check the explanation here. They, they will also explain it uh, really well here. You, you can try this one yeah? uh, when you go through this. Now let's try the next. Tom said, Tom said, I'm going to London tomorrow. So we have going, uh, I am going to, and then tomorrow. Don't forget to change this one too. Uh, maybe Matej, Matej S, can you try? Uh, I think that Tom said he was going to London the following day. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy, no? Let's try the next one, Ivan. Which sentence is not correct? You can check the sentences and then answer, please. Mm -hmm. Check the sentences. I think uh, the last one. Um, what's the problem here? No, 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 it's, it's the first one. Yeah, correct. Good, good, good. And why? What's the problem here? Uh, yeah, it's the will, I guess. Uh -huh, yeah, because I have said, when I have said this is in the past, I cannot have past and will in one sentence like this. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. So will should be what, Ivan? Uh, would. Would, exactly. That's exactly what we had here. Will, won't, changes to would, wouldn't. All right? That's very important here. Now, thank you. Let's try number five. Which words complete the sentence? Maria apologized for not coming. She said she had been busy. Now, let's try this one. Uh, Honza, can you try? The previous day. Uh, well, but I, I cannot say previous. Well, if you imagine the logic behind this, that means uh, on that yeah, day, yeah. On that day, she wanted to come, right? But I she, she that couldn't. That will be number two. That, yeah, uh, that, that makes better logical sense. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's try David, this one. Uh, I won't be at the meeting tomorrow. Paul said. Here, okay. try it now. Uh, Paul said that he uh, won't be at the meeting. Mm, that he wasn't at the meeting, just? Uh, won't, won't. So won't changes to wouldn't, remember? Oh, okay. Well, my bad. It's okay, so, don't worry. Yeah, so it's that, that he wouldn't be at the meeting the following day. Mm -hmm. That he wouldn't be... Ah, oh, yeah, the rest is there, fine. Would it be, wouldn't be at the meeting the, the following day, remember? Yeah? Tomorrow, the following day. Great. Uh, check answer. Correct. I've done it. I told you that. So let's see, Matthew, can you try? Where are you? Uh, yes, Matthew. I told you that I had done it. Uh-huh, yes, that I had done it. So we have present perfect, changes to past perfect. Uh, excellent. Now let's try uh, Vit, this one. I'm going to be late. So then he told me that uh, this is present yeah. simple, right? Uh, he was going to be late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think guys, you start to understand it. Uh, it's pretty easy, no? Uh, told me, although it's not easy to realize when we speak. Uh, that's much harder. It will take more time. But uh, as we write, we have to start here. Uh, okay, uh, then let's try one more. Uh, Ladislav, can you try this one, number nine? George said that he 
couldn't chat because he was working. Yeah, he couldn't chat because he was working. Excellent. And then let's try the last one. I want to go to the football match, but I don't have enough money. Uh, so, uh, Matej. Matej Esch, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Matej, right? I hope. It's correct. I sometimes still mistake the names. Huh? Uh, okay, so sorry. Now, please continue. I want to go to the football match, but I don't have enough money. She, uh... Hannah said. So, I want. It, it is present simple. I want to go. Pre present simple changes to... Past simple. Přítomný prostý na minulý prostý. So. Uh, wanted. Wanted. Good. Th that she wanted to go. Fine. And that's all. So thank you very much, gentlemen. You can uh, find this in your chat, but I will also leave it. Um, I will leave two different quizzes on Google Classroom. One of them is this one. So you can check it again. You can always come back to this video and... Uh, hopefully learn from it. I hope it was useful for you. So thank you so much.